I just took this out of the refrigerator. It's my sourdough starter. It's been in there for a while. So it needs to be fed, and then I'm going to use part of it to make some muffins. I have a recipe here for sourdough discard blueberry muffins. I know that's a little fuzzy. So I'm going to add flour. I have a third of a cup here, and I'm going to add three of these to make one cup. And I'm going to use a wooden spoon and get this stirred in. And then I will add about the same amount of water. It definitely needs the water. I have one cup of warm, not hot, not cold, warm, filtered water. And I'm going to add that in there and then get that stirred in. You can see it's a fairly loose consistency. Okay, that's mixed up nicely. I'm going to take my kind of a I don't know what this thing's called. It's not really a, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I'm going to take a cup of this out of here. And I'm not sure how many of these spoonfuls will make, it will take. Let's see, it's looking like about maybe three or four. Okay, so four, that's my one cup of this card. And I'm going to let my starter sit out on the counter probably until tomorrow so it can get bubbly again. It's Like I said, it's been sitting in the refrigerator for a while, so it hasn't had a chance to get bubbly. It's been resting So that's how I take my starter out, my my one cup of starter that it's going, or discard that it's going to take for my for my muffins. All my clocks are going off. You can hear them. I love it when all my clocks go off, <laughs> but it does get a little loud, a little cacophonic, cacophony, cacophony, I don't know how you say that, <laughs> a bit of a cacophony, is cacophonic a word, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll string this video in with when I actually make the muffins. And you can see how they turn out. Okay, I put <clears throat> three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. 
and mixed it in with my one cup of starter discard. Then I have two teaspoons of baking powder. One half teaspoon that's about a half of kosher salt. One third of a cup of maple syrup. third of a cup of melted coconut oil, and my coconut oil is really soft, but not exactly melted, but it'll be okay. So when I need to get the eggs out of the fridge, Two eggs, actually says two large eggs, so I'm going to put in three eggs because my eggs are not large. And we've been getting our eggs from a friend of ours who has chickens. Okay, the next thing I did then was put spray oil baking spray on my muffin tins and fill each one about, that's too full, about two-thirds full. And I always throw some extra vanilla in just for good measure because I love the flavor of vanilla. And the last thing I'm going to put in is 1.5 cups of frozen blueberries. And then I will, I heat, preheated the oven to 375 and I will bake these for about 22 minutes. And I'll show them to you when I'm all done. There they are. And I'm just getting ready to eat one. I put butter in the middle. Let's see what it's like.
Yes. It's good. <laughs> well, I would say that was a success. That was my first time using that recipe. I hope you're having a wonderful day. May God bless you. May your gardens always be plentiful and bountiful. And may you always be able to seek out the truth. See you on my next video.